OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to use the filter function to filter across multiple worksheets. So I've got four worksheets, sales on the web, sales in store, account holder sales and international sales. In the filter sheet, I want to filter for sales of books across those four sheets. Now to do this, I would highly recommend that you put each of the data sets that you want to filter across in Excel tables. And to do that, all you do is you click somewhere in the data and then insert table. All you have to do is check that this is ticked if you already have headers. I already do have headers, so I can just click on OK. Then you want to give that table a name. So I'll just call this web press enter to store the name. So we're going to do the same thing for the second sheet. Now there is a shortcut key to insert a table. So you click somewhere in the data, control T, click on OK. And I'm going to give that table a name. I'm going to call it store. And then account holder, I'm going to do the same. I'll call it account underscore holder. You can't have a space in the table name. And then the last one, control T, I'll call that international. So then we go back to our filter sheet. And the first function we're going to use is vStack. vStack will stack these data sets together as if it was one data set. Now array one is going to be web. This is why I've named each of the tables, makes them so much easier to refer to. Then we have store. Then we have account holder. Then we have international. So if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see that it returns all of that data across those four sheets. Now, if you're worried about this date column showing numbers rather than dates, all you will need to do is format the cells. So you select the first cell, control shift down arrow key to select to the last consecutive value, control backspace to go back to the active cell, and then apply the date format. So we want to filter these results now. So what we do is we put this within the filter function. The array is returned by our vStack formula, comma, and include. Now, what we're going to need to do is use vStack again. And this time we'll say web, open square bracket, product group, because product group is the column that we're performing the filter on, comma. Then we do the same for store, so store, open square bracket, product group. Then account holder, product group, and then lastly, international, product group. So then I need to close the bracket for vStack, and then I put in my criteria. So I say, do the values in each of those columns equal the criteria I'm holding in B1? And then I just close the brackets for filter and press enter. And now you'll see that I only have those book related transactions across those different customer types. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.